Fatima. Her name is Fatima. Man, is she gonna put money on my books or not? Hey, don't forget about me, nephew. I won't. These niggas is fight. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> What's going on, it's your boy CJ with the Intel, and you already see Rakai is in the building. What's going on, champion? Hello, governor. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. The Vince Staples Show. It's kind of like uh, Suicide Squad and The Suicide Squad. There's a difference. Let mm -hmm. me tell you. Except you know, from what I'm hearing, Vince had a show before this We're called The Vince Staples Show. So this is actually the second. <laughs> Uh, go around at this. Look, I know I'm going a little bit off the cuff. I'm just excited to get started. Uh, listen, make sure you stay to the very end because, you know, me and we're kind of going to chop it up, tell you what we like and what made us maybe scratch our heads regarding this episode or the series as a whole. There's been tons of fun. If it's your first time watching with us, don't worry, there's a link in the description. You can get some of the previous episodes super quick. So, without any further ado, let's get started. We have achieved the dooms. We have the da dooms. <laughs> All right, so yo, this show has been really off the cuff and it is still trending like crazy on Twitter. Black Twitter doesn't know what to think. It's got a lot of love, it's got a lot of, lo a lot of hate and a whole bunch of confusion. <laughs> <laughs> Look who finally showed up. I'm five minutes early. We don't operate on color people time in this house. <laughs> they assigned her with the macaroni and cheese at the family reunion. It's not going too well. Clean this shit. <laughs> Hi, Miss Anita. You're late. Told you you was late. Told you she don't like me. Yeah, well, even if that is true, which it might be, I ain't going to this shit by myself. <laughs> she said she's five minutes early. He said over here, that means you're 10 minutes late. Y'all talking about me? Nah. You look pretty. You do something different to your oh, head? Yeah, you reaching. <laughs> What'd you tell this girl? <laughs> you start loading up the car. And you, put that on. I don't need one. You need Jesus. Dang. I don't know about all that. I, I do. Ever since you was a baby, I told your mother mm. that you were anointed. I surely did. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> They'd be the main ones that, that said you weren't going to be shit. Be, now, after you make it, talk that shit. Oh, you're going to be having some grandbaby soon, girl. <laughs> oh, shit, no, I ain't. <laughs> <laughs> we changed the color. Paulette, put it in the group text. What oh, damn group text? Group te oh, you ain't a part of the group text? Mm, mm, mm. Not yes. give that woman my tray. Okay, I will just let you guys settle in. Bye, Gladys. Okay, bye. Poor Gladys. That's some bullshit. Fuck that, Paulette. That bitch that had it out for me since 88. What happened to 88? She introduced me to her boyfriend. Uncle Ben? No, your daddy. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> you know she white. I'm not white. No, your me. daddy. Oh, girl, who you think you're fooling? <laughs> Let's just get this shit over with. <laughs> what you call, what you call <laughs> Dish White? You drop it, I'm dropping you. <laughs> she doing a lot over a side dish. See, that's what Mac you're wrong. ain't a side dish. Macaroni and cheese ain't a side dish. Yeah. Mm, yeah. You should treat it like such. Say it again, she might smoke. <laughs> <laughs> it's me. You. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. How you been, man? <laughs> Good luck with that. Wait, no, no, no. I need you to do me a solid. I need you to tell her that I was with you last night. What? The studio, wherever the fuck you be at, just tell her I was there with you, man. She, she love you, bro. She'll believe it coming from you, but from. <laughs> Damn. Hey, nigga, you still funny like when we was in high school. Hey, I'm gonna see you in the studio later. 7.30, and then I'm gonna uh, bring some music and shit. Welcome wow. to the Brown family reunion. You know, y'all can't be wandering off around all these trees. Apparently somebody else brought mac and cheese too and pissed your mama off. Come on, Deja. Oh, uh, we got Duel and Max. Fine, Anita. I saw Janine instead of paying down, okay? Now leave me alone. My blood pressure is too high to be dealing with you. <laughs> not now, you're not. Because if I go to jail behind any of these people, I'm going to need a witness and bail. Then said he ain't going to get me out no more at the last time. Good, you wouldn't let him out the first time. <laughs> yeah. Anita's revenge, uh, huh? Mm-hmm. His mama nuts. about what I said. Niggas oh, getting lined up, uh, ruin the black families. Mm -hmm. 
My dude with the Kofi on is uh, old dude off of All American. Oh wow, that's right. You've been doing well for yourself. Mm -hmm. You just need to start investing. Yeah, entrepreneurship. I'm talking big, like toast. Did you say toast? That's right. Now, of course, that's after you take care of you. You got to come first. Mm-hmm. You need to put some blowers in the set. Some blowers in the what? You know what I'm talking? Tell me about Tulsa, Uncle Mike. Oh, I missed all of that. Blowers in the city. In your community. With me. <laughs> With me. <laughs> Let me hold something, nephew. Mm-hmm. There you go. I'ma come find you. I got you. <laughs> Don't got me. Get me. Get me. Hey, three way Tanisha. Hello to you too, nigga. Why don't you call her? She ain't got no money on her phone. You got a cell phone. Nigga, I don't want to have my number. Because <laughs> I don't want to talk to you. Asia says she went to see Nightmare the other day, and she seen some bitch named Fatima on the sign-in sheet. That bitch a lie, because I don't know nobody. The background shit is wild. Are they playing musical they chairs? Going... Yes, but they going in over this chair. Fatima. Her name is Fatima. Man, is she going to put money on my books or not? Yes. Hey, no, don't forget about me, nephew. Yes. I won't. These niggas is fight. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> oh my goodness. Who brought it? Damn. Oh shit. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, so you just gonna lie to me in my face. Why would I lie? I don't even like mac and cheese. I thought you said you didn't know what I was talking about. Mm-mm. It wasn't me. I'm lactose intolerant. Oh, girl, please, as many times as I used to see your little fat ass drink milkshakes for breakfast. <laughs> now, you know, grandmother used to get us milkshakes every Sunday after church. Chocolate was your favorite, Janine. Look, this entire family may be afraid of you, but I'm not. Mm -hmm. I set everything on the table because I'm on the food committee. Now, I got the tray out of Trudy's car. Uh-oh. Who Trudy? Trudy. I saw it with my own eyes. Now I'm done talking about this shit. <laughs> Truly, I mean that. I hear that. <laughs> when Gerald was laid off, mm. that bitch got some explaining to do. Come on, Deja. Oh, Deja, she just <laughs> she yeah, just got to go. <laughs> and in fact, she's like, she's like, you know, you white. She's like, I'm not white, she's a girl. <laughs> Maybe we should just let this go. And give one of these Ooh. niggas the satisfaction of stabbing me in my motherfucking back? Oh, hell no. Absolutely not. But is it really worth it? She has come a long way since she was barking like a dog. I tell you that. That That's her? Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, what's up, Miss Anita? Why don't you like me? You really want to know? Yeah. Because you're too nice. You too mean. Well, at least I ain't no punk. Because you a bully. <laughs> <laughs> at least I ain't no punk. Yeah. Only around you. Because you're so difficult to get along with. Even today, you can't get along with your own family all over something so trivial. It's just mac and cheese. Careful. Yeah. She said, this it again. She might smoke you. <laughs> Looks like you got a lot on your plate. You want a leg? I'm cool, Uncle James. I had a weird ass day, man. Damn, I was just watching this dude right here. Uncle Suddenly, James, everybody man. wants something. Pretty much. The dude was in the, uh, oh, damn, who is that? Well, at first I felt like you. He was in the NBA. Not out of college and the whole family was there with their hands out. I was just watching him. I had to tell him, I'm not a bank, I'm JJ. But then I realized wow. that their intentions were good. I get it. I'm not a bank, right. I'm JJ. I'm not black, mm -hmm. I'm OJ. Yeah. USC. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, man. I like her a lot. Good God. You better keep your eye on that one, nephew. <laughs> Do me a favor, why don't you? Yeah. Go to my truck and grab me another six pack. Gotcha. Thank you. Let me sit on my. It's a white Bronco! <laughs> Yo! <laughs> hey, oh no. It's a white Bronco, dog! <laughs> And you see what he said about, and you see all of his, all the stuff in there. Our Lord Jesus Christ fed 5,000 with one loaf of bread and two fish. 
You've been blessed with even more. Use those blessings to feed the family. Okay. No, he's telling me use his money to feed yeah. the family. Oh, that's crazy, dog. And remember when he the, the dudes that was talking trash on him earlier, he said something about beating the case in 94? That was in 94, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> he left the he left the glove too, dog. <laughs> he left. That's funny that's as hell. A, yo, that's funny. Okay, now they're lining up. How are we looking over here? Uh, it's, it's good. All right. Sweetheart, this chicken is burnt. Oh. Bye, Gladys. <laughs> it's, look, it's looking good. It's looking good. Mm. Oh. Mm. Can I have another one? Wish I could, baby, but we running out. You should try this one. It's good. <laughs> I wouldn't let a stray dog touch that shit. <laughs> the fuck you looking at, Paulette? <laughs> now, what's nasty is your mac and cheese. Oh, hell yeah. I know you made it. Because Paulette Jr. is a vegan. No, PJ is a hoe. Oh. <laughs> You heard what I said, and you can put that in your fucking group text. Damn. She's wild. This mama She's off the wild. Chain. She is. She is. Yo, look, look. <laughs> I don't know what everything else to talk about. Yeah. OJ reference is hilarious. Oh, the OJ reference is special. Dolls. <laughs> Oh! Oh! What? Is that Daisy? Daisy 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 Daisy? There dropping bees? I just don't Look, she makes sure Vince I mom gonna like her now. Wow! Get her, Daisy. You hear it? <laughs> Y'all been wilding with this joint, dog. <laughs> I'm here at the world famous Coliseum. Go Trojans! A lot of great memories in this place. Bruh. <laughs> That's one thing they can't take away from us. Our memories. I'll see you next time. If you're watching this on YouTube, you're gonna see a cut down version of our reaction because we're only allowed to show you a limited amount of picture in picture. But if you wanna watch the whole thing with us uncut, uninterrupted, head over to our Patreon page at patreon.com forward slash Sintel. Become a member of this channel. You'll get access to the full uncut reaction, but you will need your own Netflix, HBO Max, or Disney Plus subscription. So you can open up each episode in an adjacent window to our reaction. We'll give you a little time with a small reference video at the bottom of the screen to help you sync up the footage. And it'll be like you're watching it with your favorite pals from the internet. Man, I don't even know where to begin. <laughs> I, I legit don't even know where to start with this joint, man. Um, all right, listen, that was, uh, episode three and it's called, uh, was it the cookout? The no Brown family. Uh, <laughs> so we've had some, it's, it's, it's been interesting. So the first episode deals with him getting out of jail. Second episode was, uh, oh my gosh, what was the second one? Um, uh, was that the bank robbery? Uh, yes. Yeah, second, the second, bank second, robbery. second one was the bank robbery and now we got the cookout. Uh, yeah, man, how you feeling so far? <laughs> where, where we're at? No, I... <laughs> This episode was hilarious. And I think it's one of those things because, man, I saw so much of my family in this shit here. <laughs> like, I can almost go and pick out every person in this as a member of my family. <laughs> That's crazy. Yo, yeah, yo, they, they, they hit all the tones, man. Um, if anything, you know, like, okay, here's the thing, like, there's obviously some social cues that you could pick up with some of this, but I don't even know if Vince is even trying to go there with it. I think he may be, but maybe not. I think maybe he's just saying, you know, whatever it is that blows his hair back, whatever it is that's just interesting at that moment, and you can take from it, you know, what you will. However, <laughs> the OJ joint, man. <laughs> his, his cousins talk about something about somebody beating the case, leave him alone, beating the case in 94. Yeah, just make sure you don't lose all your money. <laughs> yeah. 
but he said, uh, he said, I'm not broke. I'm, uh, uh, whatever say, uh, oh my God, I forgot what the quote is. But the original quote was, I'm not black, I'm OJ. That was the quote. OJ mm-hmm. really said that. Like, yeah. He forgot who the hell he was all the way around. He for, sure did. And for, him to bring, for them to bring that all the way back around and with the glove. <laughs> uh. So, yeah. So Vince may, be, Vince may be just telling a story you can take what you want, but that right there had some social commentary. You can, I don't know what he's trying to say with it. All I'm saying is, is I recognize it. <laughs> mm-hmm. That was that was hilarious. And it's one of those things is like, you know, it's easy to say that there's somebody in your family. Mm-hmm. Um, or maybe he really is kin to somebody like OJ or somebody else, you know, famous like that. And I don't know. It's just I don't know. Like even his mama to give uh to give her Basically, an episode where she got to shine mm-hmm. for real. Mm-hmm. She is out of her damn mind <laughs> on this one. She's out of her mind. And uh, uh, what's her name? Vanessa Bell Calloway? Yeah, well, I didn't even realize uh, that's who that was, in case you didn't know from um, Coming to America. She's your queen yeah, and- to be <laughs> yes, she, that's why I said she'd come a long way since barking like a dog. Wow. Like even, and she, and she even showed up and re- reprised the same character in uh, the the terrible Coming to America two movie. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, you know, and she's she's a actually a really good actress. She's been in so many other things. Uh, uh, but to give her a moment to shine on this, yeah. and just the 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 relationship between. Vince and Deja, and then Deja and her mom. Listen, I, her mom. Listen, I have an auntie like this. I know her mom. Mm. Like, oh mm. man, yeah. No, she's killing it. She, she's she's definitely great. I mean, we've seen like in the very first episode they introduced us to some woman that we think is maybe Vince's sister. Then he called. Yeah. Then he called his mama. Uh-huh. Uh, and then we get a chance to get introduced uh, to to Deja, his girl, when he when he finally gets back home at the yeah. end of the night. So those are the three like big big women in his life, and they because mm-hmm. uh, yeah. is Deja is Deja a nurse? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because she was in Scrubs when 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 he yeah, got back oh, that's home. right. Yeah, she worked a double. Right? Yeah, that's why he had the craziest day ever, and he told her wasn't nothing wrong. It's <laughs> regular old day just a regular old day yeah i don't know here, here's the other thing um and and y'all let me know in the comments as well um you know sometimes uh these things connect right one one connects to another and there's like a, a through line like a story that's going to be told i don't know if this has this all of this kind of seems separate kind of could be like its own episode that stands on its own um, are y'all cool with that? Um, and just how are y'all feeling just where we are so far? We're about roughly about the halfway point. Uh, except there's mm-hmm. only five episodes. I had heard uh, on Twitter that Vince had said something to the effect that there was a sixth episode, but Netflix pulled it for whatever reason. Um, so, oh, Lord. Yeah. And yeah, if they pulled it, what was he trying to what, what message were he trying to convey on that? Oh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. All right. Well, I guess that's my closing thought for the for the thing. Uh, yo, Rakai, go ahead and let the people know uh, what your closing thoughts are and how they can get in contact with you, man. Um, my closing thoughts are uh, the one thing that I enjoy about this uh, the Vince Staple Show <laughs> is that it's we should have more shows like this. Mm. Um. All of our shows seem to be, for one, hood based. You know, if you look at basically everything that's on BET, you know, basically the Tyler Perry show of the week. Mm. Um, you look at pretty much everything that's on Stars, the uh, Fifty Cent, uh, How to Kill Somebody, How to Deal Drugs <laughs> show of the week, aka the Power Verse. Um, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, you know, and BMF is not part of the power verse, so you know, uh, we should have more shows like this that are more of a, a day in the life of a slice of life, mm-hmm. because uh, 
even though I am not, you know, super woke or whatever, uh, you know, or I, and I hate that term altogether. Um, but I do realize that in consciousness that because I have kids, a lot of what they consume and thank God that they consume a lot of anime, um, <laughs> a lot of what they consume, what they hear, what they see, uh, shapes their, how they view themselves. Mm. And Lord forbid my, my kids view themselves as Tariq St. Patrick. You know? uh, <laughs> man, I've been in killing myself. Uh, <laughs> you know, uh, and it, but, the, but the thing is, you know, as much as that might be a guilty pleasure and enjoy the shows, you know, you take the BET shows, the star shows, and then reality TV and what is left for us. And I'm not saying that we have to have the, the most positive, uplifting shows whatsoever, but there should be shows with a purpose, shows that have some sort of meaning, or shows that just show that we are all out here trying to get it the best that we can, trying to deal with life as it comes at us. Um, and hey, by the way, we don't all deal drugs and we don't all carry 17 guns and we're gangsters and, mm. you know, fresh out the, the, you know, the thug life. It's just mm. a lot of people don't live like that, mm. yeah. you know. Um, so a, a show like this uh, and probably the only thing I hate like this, like, you know, the first episode where he has stashed the gun. OK, yeah, it, you know, it might be like, well, what about that? Yeah, well, he does live in Long Beach, and it is kind of crazy there. So, you know, it's just like you could be a guy who goes to work every day and does what he's supposed to do. But if the show is based in Chicago, yeah. I'd probably say you probably should carry a gun. I'm not saying, <laughs> you know. Yeah, you know, uh, yeah, I hear that. You know, Atlanta. Atlanta. The only thing I hate about Atlanta was that we follow the exploits of a rapper. Mm. And not everybody has to be an entertainer. Or an athlete mm. you know so it would be nice to have shows that are slice of life about people who do something other than those two things mm. okay but i do like this yeah yeah i i, I appreciate oh, and find me Go ahead, on, find me on all social media at diamond mind d-i-a-m-o-n-d-m-y-n-d because it's all about this right here hey thank you so much and everything y'all wanted to co-sign a bunch of that that there's different types of stories that can be told within the community we don't have to be a monolith when it comes to storytelling that's why i really appreciate uh shows like this hey if you've been enjoying just the way me and rakai just chop it up go ahead and be a fan of the channel and hit that subscription button and of course give us that thumbs up because that's how the people know you're digging what we're giving you and if you want to know when the next episode is coming extra quick, go ahead and hit that bell icon. Uh, yo, there's a more of a deeper dive and a little bit more detail on the Patreon, but you already saw that bit of a commercial before we got here. Just wanted to let y'all know one more time. So with that being said, we'll catch you all on the next episode. All right, y'all. Take care.